everyone, welcome to the channel. For those of you that are new, my name is Hunter and I'm coming to you from the center of Madrid and this is actually where Michael spent some of his time growing up and studying music as a youth. So, producer Michael, the YouTube channel has been blowing up quite recently and I've seen a lot of comments where people are wondering how much money he's worth, how he made his money and what he does. So I'm going to do a video talking about that, but I'm going to go to some place more quiet so you guys can hear me because as you can see it's quite busy and it gets even busier here at night, especially on the weekends. Alright, so I moved someplace a little bit quieter hopefully. I'm next to the palace actually, it's right there um, and it's in a pretty cool area. The city of Madrid actually has a population of about 3 million people, about 6 million in the whole metropolitan area. Uh, how about I just give you a tour, I'm going to give you a quick video tour of the area. So we're back, no more interruptions, but now I will get into the life of Michael. So Michael was born in 1958 in London, England, and he uh, studied music in Madrid and Berlin, so that's kind of why I brought up Madrid and because I'm here. I'm going to be here for another couple weeks and then I'm going back to the US where I'm from. And if you don't know, I make car videos, business videos, and um, travel videos, obviously, because I'm in Madrid right now. So when Michael was 16, he became a resident producer at Hansa Tan Studios in Berlin. And he worked with a lot, of, a lot of accomplished artists. And that is where he started off his career as a producer, and hence why he got the name Producer Michael, uh, because he's a producer. Uh, when he was young, he did uh, also do a lot of drumming, which he does talk a lot about in his videos. Videos. He was a major contributor to the band Tidal Force. He was the drummer for that band. So this is where Michael first started out was the producing area and he worked with people like Julio Iglesias, uh, Luther Vandross, Julio, Mary J, No Doubt, Tupac, Brian McKnight, Willie Nielsen, and a lot of other people. Besides artists, he also worked with uh, TV shows and movies, so he did produce music for uh, Cinderella 2, Dreams Come to True, and he also produced music for uh, Beavis and Butthead, the movie I believe, and lots of other things as well. So he does have a wide range of talent and a lot of different sources of income through that as well. As Michael's producing career moved on, he eventually moved on to the uh, record label executive and artist manager so he started to manage other clients and that's actually what he does now. You can go to his website, it's electrastarmanagement.com and you can see all the different people that he manages, all the talents that he manages and some of them include like Ron White, Billy Bob Thornton, Scott Bio and there's a ton more that his company that he owns manages so this is another source of his income and he uh, also manages different uh, television shows. So some of the shows that he produces are pretty funny I think and I'm definitely gonna have to watch some of these. Uh, so one is called Rodeo Drives, it's a car show so that's something I'd like and I'm sure a lot of you would also like. Desperate White House, I don't know, that's something with uh, pol politics. The Scout, that's about a drumming band or something, I'm not sure. Trailer Park Divas, that's that's kind of where it's kind of getting funny. Uh, Supernova Star Search, okay, cool. Beverly Hills Moms, that's something that I'm definitely gonna check out, that sounds funny. Sugar Baby, uh, My Foreign Affair, uh, and there's a ton more. So you can see he has produced a lot of shows, and he says uh, on his YouTube videos, he does this just for fun, it's something to do. He doesn't do this for the money anymore but it's pretty cool that he's able to do this. So one of the rumors that I have seen circling around is that Michael owned Maserati at one point. And that's actually somewhat true because in 1987, Michael and some other British, three other British investors purchased Maserati for $3 million and he revamped the company and later sold it to another car company or conglomerate. And so he did actually own Maserati at one point along with a couple other 
investors. So to summarize, what Michael has really made his money from is producing music, uh, producing television shows, managing other stars, and, and a lot of other business investments like uh, Maserati, for example, or just investing his money into, like he says, jewelry, jewels, watches, houses, properties, cars, and a lot of other things. Because once you have money, it is a lot easier to make more money when you invest it. So I have read online that his net worth is about $60 million, but I have to think that it's a lot more than that now, especially because of the private plane video that he said he bought the private jet, and I think those are like $45 million alone. He's talked about having the yacht in the past, um, so that's probably a lot of money as well. I know he's, he said he has over 100 watches in his watch collector collection, so that's probably 100 watches, even if they're 10 grand each, you know, that's a lot of money. But I know like even, uh, I'm blanking on the name, that really, those two cool watches, with the they're like really glass, I don't know, those are close to a million dollars each, so. Yeah, I'm, de I'm definitely guessing, I mean his cars, his house as well, that his uh, net worth is probably over $100 million. Uh, I can't be exactly sure, he's really the only one who probably knows, him and his accountant. But yeah, if I ever do an interview with them, maybe if Michael, if you're watching this, if you want to do an interview or get in contact, uh, I definitely would like that and I could do a better video. But thank you for watching everyone. That's about all I'm going to say today. I haven't made a video in a while, so I need to make this but it's finals right now so I'm studying so thank you for watching don't forget that subscribe button and bye